Well, and here we are. It came in the mail today. I ordered a new Pentronics electronic ignition. I'm going back to Pentronics. I don't know if I'll tell you the story in this video or not, um, but I'm going to go ahead and change that out and see if we can't get this M fired up. One thing I forgot to do was put the battery on charge. So hopefully, once I get this changed out, it will have enough juice to turn. Um, this is kicking uh, 3.2 ohms, as you saw in, I don't know, two videos ago. Which is, you know, it's operable, but it's a little more than you you really want them at three. So I may end up changing the coil out because it's three two now, and you know, in in a month or two from now it could be three 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 four, and then get them three five, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna throw this thing in. All right, and to get this old module out of here, you just need a Phillips head screwdriver. A little stubby one undo one screw and he's just screw in where the points and condenser went little dinky Phillips and then get that wire out of the way both of them out of the way good to go all right and it's just two screws holding them in you see right about here I'm a bit of a hoarder I like to save the screws and stuff all right and then this is I don't know if you can see that or not my finger yeah right here's a rubber seal that goes with it and that's got to go down through so you just pull it everything will go Cause I'm going to force it to go because I'm that guy. Alright. Let's snip you off of there. Wow. Tell you what, that hot wire ain't no joke. There's a little bit of gauge to that thing. Got the tin snips on it. It's it's being rigorous. So I'll just twist. I'm gonna go get my wire strippers here in a minute. And then you just pull it down through and you're good to go. And there you go, there's the old module right there. Um, this is not a Pentronics, it's a different brand. And I haven't decided if I'm gonna tell the story yet or not, but yep, that's it. All right, so now I'm gonna Take my new one, the Pentronics, out the box. And then there's instructions in the box if you've never done it before, and so on and so forth. I would take your time the first time doing this. This is a, probably about the uh, fifth one that I've ever put on a tractor. So, oh, magnet looks different this time. There it is. All three look different. So you got one here. That's off an old Pentronics. You got one here that's not off of a Pentronics at all, but it's circular. And then you got one that's more of a cylinder shape. So, yeah, whatever. Whatever works. And let's see. But yeah, so that's it there. And, uh, okay, I see. And you can see the difference. I mean, the Pentronics comes on a circular plate. You just... You're just going to screw that down to the, match the holes up. And that is about it. And I find it a little odd that, okay, huh. This is, this is really strange. Oh, no, they didn't. They sent me a, no, they didn't. Oh. You read that? Delco. Crap! Oh, I gotta send it back. This is an, an IH uh, distributor. So I've gotta send this back and have them send me one that is IH. 
I know I ordered one for an IH. I know I did. Okay, wrap. Oh, it sucks. Man, what a bum wrap, man. I'll have to get a hold of the guy and see if he'll just exchange this because it came it came with a kit. Oh, when I pulled that out of there, I should have known. Man, that is a bum wrap. Well, so much for getting the M fired up. I'm going to take this back in the house and send him a, a love note, the guy that I brought bought this off of. See if I can't exchange it for an IH, uh, you know, clearly says Igniter Delco four-cylinder, and uh, I, I would have never made that mistake. I mean, you have a 50-50 shot at getting it correct, and that's a bum deal, man. That'll get you down. This has got a 30-month limited warranty. That's not bad, you know, for an electronic uh, anything, electronic part to have, you know, a, a two-and-a-half-year warranty. I'm not complaining about that at all. I run these tractors pretty hard. You know, the one thing I'm going to tell you right now is that I run these tractors pretty hard. And um, I have a lot of people that have commented over the years and recently too that they get, they've had their Pentronics or whatever igni electronic ignition on for five years, no problems. I'm pretty sure that you don't run them as hard as I do. I actually really work these tractors. Um, they get hot, they work, you know. Um, I do a few oil changes a year, uh, rear end every year. Um, you know, so so I think there's a little bit, I think it's a little different scenario when you're working them harder, you know. And uh, yeah. it goes for points and condenser too. If you're really running them hard, and I do, I ask this M to do things that it probably hasn't done in, 40 years maybe longer and uh, so I don't expect an electronic ignition to last a decade running it the way I do if it was just a trailer queen and a and a um, you know just a show tractor I think just to unload and load onto the trailer and park I think I'd get a lifetime out of it but uh, so that's that that that's that'll get you down man um, Hopefully he doesn't give me too much beef about it. He shouldn't give me any beef about it, but uh, to be honest with you, I think I am going to keep this and just order another one. And the reason being is because uh, I have a Delco distributor on the H. Now, right now I'm running, I put new points and condenser on the H and it's running fantastic. I'm a firm believer for it ain't, ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, with the M here, it wasn't broke, but I did fix it. Uh, and the real reason is, is I wanted to see how it would run with an electronic ignition. And that's the only reason I converted it over. I, I do tend to favor the electronic ignition anyways, but, uh, so I'm going to go in. I'm just going to, you know what? I'm just going to buy another one. I'm going to keep this for the H. If I ever get a wild hair one day and want to throw it in there and see how it does, it will go from there. Thanks for watching.